In this quick video, I'd just like to pick up on a point that I mentioned in the blog post, which is about interpolation. At some point during the workflow, we're going to have to introduce some kind of interpolation to the scanned image, unless we want to actually scan it at its native size, in which case this is a 5x4 negative. And if I wanted to scan it at 5 inches by 4 inches, then I don't have to introduce any interpolation whatsoever but invariably we want to, to actually print at a different size so in view scan i chose to scan this at 1200 dpi and on the output tab i set the printed size to a scan size with a magnification of 100 percent and that means that when this is brought into Photoshop in my case, it's going to have a resolution of 1200. I rescanned this image again, only this time I kept the input scan of 1200. But on the output, I chose a fixed DPI and I entered 360. So basically, what I'm saying is I'm going to let View Scan do the interpolation for me based upon what I enter into the printed DPI box. In this case, it's going to be 360. I've chosen 360 because that's the native resolution that my Epson printer uses. Canon, HP and other makes and models probably use somewhere in the ballpark of about 300, but you would have to check your individual manual to confirm that. So on the first scan, I'm scanning at the fixed or the scan size and I'm going to have to do the interpolation in Photoshop. And on the second scan, I'm letting ViewScan do the interpolation for me. So these are the two scans inside of Photoshop. The first one was the scan size. And if we have a look at the image size box, we can see that it's maintained its 1200 pixels per inch resolution. It contains 4866 pixels along the shortest side and 6038 pixels on the longest side. Make a mental note of those. Looking at the second image, remember this was interpolated by ViewScan. And again, if we bring up the image size box, there's our 360, which is ideal for the printer. The pixel count is exactly the same. It hasn't changed, so we haven't lost any pixel information simply by setting a fixed output DPI size. All that we've done is that we've performed that interpolation inside a view scan. Now to do that inside of Photoshop, what we would have to do is bring up the image size dialog box. And we don't want to change these figures. So we're going to uncheck resample. And we're going to enter in our final destination DPI. So in my case, it would be 360. And at 360, it's going to give me a print size of 13.517 by 16.772 and I will press OK. If we go back to the one that ViewScan did for us, we can see that the sizes are identical. So we haven't lost anything by doing it in ViewScan. And we possibly haven't gained anything by doing it in Photoshop. Not to my eyes anyway. Each program is going to possibly use a different algorithm. But from what I've seen, I haven't seen any visible difference. So if you want to do the interpolation at the scanning point and not have to do it later on inside of Photoshop, then I see no reason at all why in the scanning software, in this case it's ViewScan, is to choose 
fix DPI and set your DPI at this point. So that's just to clear up what I was talking about the interpolation in the above blog post.